Hi guys, uh, this is the third part of share our shells of the earth. In this slide, we will in this chapter, not only this slide, we discuss about the hydrosphere, biosphere, and the lithosphere. And uh, uh, this is the last part of this topic. That's Earth shell of Earth. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Hydrosphere. This is the how sense for water in this slide i i work presented a very critical very technical uh, task formations of the water into stream and then goes back again are uh, represented here this is the open water bodies there's a process of transfer evaporation under the influence of the solar radiations this is water transpired. this water can be absorbed by the plants there's also the evaporation or uh, transpiration and goes to the uh, air and uh, this is then again in the air when it become condensed it assumes the shape of the clouds and the clouds when there is going to rainfall then rainfall again water go to the earth and this is a phenomenon say, said to the precipitation and lastly this precipitation say, go to the water bodies go to the plants and also this water can be collected can be stored under the uh, under the uh, soil this is the whole hydrosphere exactly. In this way, this is a circular process, can never be stopped. When stops are benefited, when there is a limited water bodies and where, when there is a limited number of trees, when there is a less transpiration, then when there is a less evaporation from the uh, water bodies and the, from, the, from the plant surfaces, then less cloud, uh, cloud will be formed and there is a less precipitation and the whole universe becomes severely affected. There is no water, no life. So it is a very important lesson for us. We have to save water, then save life. What are the major reservoirs of the hydrosphere? That is the water, or major is the oceans. You have remembered 71% of this universe is occupied by the water, by the water bodies, by whatever the form, in the, in the form of the oceans, in the form of the rivers, if streams, lakes, poles, polar ice caps, water vapor, etc. form the hydrosphere. And the 75% are surface covered with the hydrosphere. 75% covered by the hydrosphere and the main component of hydrosphere is the only water. You can check what are the physical chemical properties of the water and water must show its, its viscosity, it is less viscous or the more viscous buoyancy, it provides the buoyant pause for the swimming of the animals and the transparency, how is the transparent? is the turbid or is the pure water how light penetrate into the water and at which de depths light can penetrate it depends upon the all factors if viscosity is this transparency if the water is a turbid then light cannot penetrate deep he long heat waves are stopped near the surfaces long heat waves are the stops at the surface because they cannot go down so the upper surface of the stagnant water is always uh, relatively hotter Ultraviolet rays penetrate beyond 100 meters, which is also the critical thing. UV radiation can penetrate up to more than 100 meters, and uh, the water is also contain the photic zones. And the next is the pressure at sea level. Experience a pressure about one atmosphere. One atmosphere that is of 760 mm of mercury. And the pressure at the depth of the water can be variable. Or you can say that pressure is uh, directly proportional to the depth of the water. This is represented that directly proportional to the depth of the water. This one. And to, as the depth increases pressure water going to increase as a as a water depth decreases pressure are going to in decline one atmosphere for every 10 degrees centigrade of the 
uh, descends and when we go 10 uh, meters down the one atmosphere of the temperature gradually increased it means that when we go into deeper and deeper the atmosphere pressure going to increase gradually and suppose that at the depth of the 10,500 meters hydrostatic pressure of about 1 ton per cubic per centimeter square pressure in what is the uh, mean advantages of the pressure pressure influences solubility now the different gases ionic dissociation oil can dissociate in the, in the water surface tension and the water is slightly compressible it can be compressed it can be the shock absorber it can be the heat absorber it is excellent heat absorber is a minimal change and the next one the property of physico-chemical property of the water is the salinity it is a very precise definition which is represented here the total amount of the solid material in grams contained in one kilogram of the water when all the carbonate has been converted into the oxides bromides bromine iodine replaced by the chlorine and all organic matter completely oxidized this is the very comprehensive definition of salinity For example, spider crab and the maya, etc., tolerate on the narrow fluctuation in the salinity of the water, and this is known as the stenohaline animals. Because salinity widely or severely affected the distribution of the life, the geography of the aquatic animals, because with the variation of the salinity, there is a there is a there is a different animals can be separated and the fluctuate in the different types of salinity if the less saline there's a different type of animal in in the brackish brine and and the alkaline water medium the distribution of animal will be different this is the spider stenohalides mytilus and aplasia these animals can withstand the high range of the salinity, a wider range of the salinity. So these animals are termed as urihaline because they can tolerate, they can withstand wide change and the withstand the wider range of the salinity from lesser to higher. They can withstand that medium. So they are called the urihaline animals. Anguillas and fish and salmon which can both stenohaline and the urihaline because they are the aquatic there's a sea fishes they can withstand the stenohaline they can be stenohaline and can be urihaline is a lithospheric style in defect factors this is the lithospheric cycle which i have told you uh, this is the hydrosphere uh, and the and other one and the third uh, and the last one factor is the lithospheric that is the soil at which we are inhabited, the living organism which are present and the, and the surface of the earth, at the face of the earth, are present in the lithosphere. You can check here, this is the soil and uh, this is the termite mounts because termites can be digested, the uh, cellulose and, and excrete soil particles and which form the mounts which can be, you can check uh, uh, this at the walls by uh, this mounts can be uh, made at the soils this is a fungi which is a ma major decomposer rotting logs this is a microorganism these ions can be entered into the water and can also be absorbed by the algae and other water or the insects so this is a lithospheric and the lithospheric is a very important part of this universe Solid component of Earth is called the lithosphere. This is a comprehensive definition. Solid components of that. Solid and this lithosphere uh, is a multi-layered structure. The soil is a multi-layered structure. And the toppermost is the crust and the mantle, outer and inner core. These are three main components. We will discuss here in detail core essential fluids chlorine that's a cent core is the center of fluids are the vaporized sphere diamond diameter of about 2500 kilometer from the center 
this is a core central fluids this is a composed of a nickel iron metal extend about the 2900 km above the core in the molten state metal can also be exist in here 2500 km 2900 km above the core and the outermost of the solid zone of the earth is called the crust this is the toppermost and the outermost which is 8 to 40 km above the mantle this is the categories or the thickness it is the thickness 8 to 40 kilometers uh, as you can check here this is a lithospheric zone as you can check here this is the solid this is the inner core this is the outer core this is the liquid part it may be the 5100 kilometer this is the core and uh, this is the inner core which is a solid this is the outer core which is a liquid and uh, this is the mantle as you can check here mantle is a form very form from this to this it is a, a consists of 2900 kilometers and uh, there is this a uh, various donations of here this a uh, asthenosphere this is asthenosphere this is a tectonic plates are represented here asthenosphere and this is the crust which is 0 to 100 km thick they form this to this one and this is a lithospheric crust plus the upper mantle and this is represented in this diagram this is oceanic crust if you check here in this text this diagram all are represented here and this is maybe the oceanic crust soil biota a living organism soil as the habitat of the various animals soil flora soil fauna living organism can exist at the soil soil organism classification into the various types microflora and the microflora and macrofauna that is the which is present in the land surfaces mesofauna macrofauna macrofauna and there is a size on the basis of their size first uh, protozoa small size mites nematodes rotifer uh, tardigrades and the corpods crustaceans microflora oil includes bacteria uh, not oil but this is a soil include bacteria soil fungi soil actinomyces blue green algae and uh, other algae soil microflora bacteria form about the 90 percent of the population fungi algae together uh, represent the one percent actinomyces over the only the nine percent soil bacteria they may be the autotrophic bacteria and they may be the heterotrophic bacteria i'm just representing here the example not not go into the detail uh, this is the autotrophic bacteria in the soil natrifying bacteria hydrogen bacteria sulfur bacteria iron bacteria magnesium bacteria carbon monoxide methane bacteria the common nitrogen fixing bacteria in the soil is the rhizobium occurs root nodules the leguminous plants azotobacter clostridium etc they are also present in the soil. Mesofauna ranges about 200 micrometer to up to 1 centimeter. Micro arthropods, scavenge, mites, columbola, spring tails, arachnida, spiders, chilung thai, there is a pseudo scorpion, opleons, harvest mans etc the post form insect larvae small mini peas diplopores isopores and mollusks this is a mesofauna and the macrofauna of the cell which have the largest size animals whose bodies are greater than one centimeter majority of the lumbri seed cd mollusca largest insects arachnids cell dwelling vertebrates uh, fossorial which form the burrows in the soil and can exist for example, certain rodents, for example, parkour pines, cursorial, which can move on the soil, and the soil territory, or which have the jumping ability, uh, like you can check, uh, uh, like that of the kangaroos, they have jump, jump ability, which are included in the soil territory, and the gravity portal, 
the animals which have the massive weight, for example, heavy such as the turtles, armadillos, and uh, elephants, hippopotamus, they are included in this category. Thank you very much for your patience. This is this is the last part of this lecture. I hope so uh, you can uh, understand this lecture and will be uh, enjoy. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, remember one thing: uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.